Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to read a book for you today called Not Norman, A Goldfish Story. And the author is Kelly Bennett, and the illustrator who does the pictures is Noah Jones. Here are the front pages, pictures of little fish. This page I'm going to tell you about today this is called the title page. It tells us the title of the book. It says, Not Norman, A Goldfish Story. And then this page over here with all the little words is it called the dedication page. Each author dedicates their book to someone. And this one says, For Lauren, Allison, and Amanda, the best fish feeders in Texas. And for Sarah, in honor of her goldfish Lucky. When I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet, not Norman. I wanted a pet who could run and catch or one who could climb trees and chase strings. A soft furry pet to sleep on my bed at night, not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and around and around and around and around and around and around. This is it, Norman, I decide. I'm trading you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move, not even a fin twitches. How can I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry looking fish in a gunky bowl. When I dropped Norman into his nice clean bowl, he started dipping and flipping and flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy, I have to laugh. Don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm gonna keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blows a stream of bubbles. The next day I take Norman to school with me. If I talk him up really good during show and tell, maybe someone will want him. On the way there we see my friend Austin. Austin has a real cool dog and seven puppies. Want to swap one of your pups for Norman, I ask? Who's Norman, asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. By the time I rescue Norman, half his water is gone. I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at my, me all googly-eyed. Finally, it's my turn to show and tell. Just as I start to talk about goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone. Who let my snake loose? <laughs> look at their faces. They look a little worried about the snake. Does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No, they're all jumping and screaming and chasing the snake. Not Norman. He's just looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. That afternoon, we go to my music lesson. As soon as it's over, I'm, talk I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuber and I begin to play. Bum, bum, ba, ba, boo, bum, bee. I glance over at Norman and he's swaying back and forth. Wug, 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 he mouths. Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention, snaps Maestro, and try to play the proper notes. Maestro makes me stay for extra practice, and by the time my lesson's over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. That night, I'm sound asleep when screech, screech, what's that noise? Scratch, screech, screech, yikes, there's something at the window. And then out of the corner of my eye, I spot Norman. He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. Well, I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. I look at the cats and the dogs and the snakes and the birds, and I look at the hamsters and the mice and the lizards, too. Sounds like it's Mr. Drew, like Mr. Drew's animals. They all look like good pets, but they are not Norman. So when I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I could pick my pet in the whole world, 
I wouldn't trade him. Not Norman. And up here on his little sign, it says, Norman, one amazing fish. And I think he got him a bigger tank. What do you think? And he ended up liking him, didn't he? Sometimes you got to give things a chance before you know if you like it or you don't. Sort of like when you try food. you got to keep trying it to see if you really, really like it. And there are the end pages. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you have a great Wednesday today. Maybe you could get outside. It's nice out. It's a little bit windy, but it's it's really nice. I went for a little walk. And then tomorrow's Thursday, and on Friday, I will read you another book. I'll have to look into my big box of books and see if I can find one that I think you'll really like. Um, I hope you have a great afternoon, and I will see you Friday. Bye, boys and girls. I miss you.